Brothers, Brothers Tyler Ford, our three officials, and good to have you with us in Salt Lake City. Forget what happened last year against the Denver Nuggets. Mike Conley shares it early with Donovan Mitchell. And that's the way it begins. And I like that shot for Donovan Mitchell. A good shot in the lane. A score the Memphis Grizzlies by eight points in the first 12 minutes of play. They can't afford that in an elimination game. Donovan Mitchell, awkward, but go Bears on the final. Exactly a three-point point but he's not bad percentage-wise. His balance shooter gets, gets the first point of the game for Memphis. On the wing, right back at it. Donovan Mitchell, Memphis still only down by two, though, against a team that was 31-5 and five on their home floor. Good penetration by Donovan. And Conley, he's killing his whole team. They, the way they move the ball tells me that they can. I love the fact that they consistently get great looks at the rim. Good post entry. And Valen Judas. Used to playing with Donovan Mitchell with something different. And so this year he looks so much more comfortable and he is really helping uh, Utah do an incredible job. This is this backcourt is underrated. Transition defense just the same by Memphis. Bogdanovich already with a triple. And he's making Euro sacks all his way to the rack. Now up by 14 on the 11 to nothing blitz. And that's a wide open three. Corner, short corner three. John Moran gets it right back. Hard up the heel and it stays home. They can't live without him. And especially when you consider what he did in game two. 47. Off the glass. Guess who? Donovan Mitchell, that man. man. We wanted to come out with the right mindset. We didn't want to play with our food. Donovan Mitchell's not playing with his food tonight. He is coming out trying to hit Memphis with the knockout punch. Ten early points. Kyle Anderson can't roll it home. So Donovan Mitchell and Utah. Start the game 10 for 13, 77 percent. And a little bit higher than that right now. You got a good time on your set. 14 point game. We're halfway through the opening 12. As Donovan Mitchell, you can't get a blast either. They haven't stopped him from getting down here all night long. The only way for the Memphis Grizzlies when they won in Salt Lake City, Dylan Brooks. That's not his specialty, but they'll take it. And that is a huge triple almost seven minutes into the first quarter. Clarkson out of the wing with O'Neal. And by now it's wide open. This is a ton of <laughs> and he's, he's too good a shooter to be wide open. It's been an emphasis with the coaching staff. John Morant, good answer. Great D by Clarkson. Northwood's offense, great D right there. We got another three. Bogdanovich feeling it. Why not? <laughs> Double up. 31 and 5 at home for a reason, the Utah Jazz. Yeah, and I was wondering what the mindset was going to be. Because sometimes you come up to this game and when it's a closed out situation, when you're able to get some guys later on in the draft and some of these free agents that make us able to pick up, guys like Dylan Brooks who wasn't a high draft pick, but turned out to be an incredible player. The way he handles the basket. They got a low game. Got to load up, give Rudy some help. Do not let Jock go at Rudy one on one right here. Make him see bodies. Jock out there. Rudy did everything he could. Now we're in. Final 45 seconds, setting things up. Jared Jackson Jr. Oh, hold oh, on, the hand over there. Oh, my goodness. It was 50 back in 2016. After an outstanding career. Get a pound of it goes. Look out, wow. It's in that type of court, bro. Look out. Jackson just trying to find a rhythm to his game after missing almost the entire season. And there's the runner, and the floater. Jordan Clarkson, the Lakers, and the other mid-range game. He's expanded it completely as Desmond Bain looks for help. Jared Jackson, left hand, and a sweet one. They don't want to make it a habit of throwing him the ball much. They throw him a couple bones inside, let him shoot a couple of jump hooks, but that's not his thing. That's not his value to this team. That's Desmond Bain. Bain's thing, though. Thought he'd stay in Minneapolis. He's from the Twin Cities. On the tip. How about Donovan Mitchell back on the floor, making an impact once again. Second chance opportunities have not been there at all, Brendan, for Memphis. Go there, look out. Oh, he's got it on the hooker. And that's what happens. Donovan Mitchell starts driving a lot. I mean, coming into the season, I don't think anybody had Utah projected to finish number one. I think we, we thought they would be a top four or five team, but number one, that was a little bit surprising. I think all of us thought it would be one of those teams in L.A. He carves out so much space as far as the weak side dunking and just being aggressive inside that he forces you to guard him. And led the league in exactly what he did, but that's a breakdown defensively. Did you see that pass, though? I, man, I love it. That's the next That's the next step in John Donovan Mitchell's game as far as becoming a superstar. They get their shots based on ball movement and body movement. And when you get your shots based on that, sometimes you can have nights like you're having tonight where you're able to just score at high level of job. 16 point game inside of three to play. It'll be Donovan. Everything working. Everything working for Donovan Mitchell. Really good.
good young coach. I think I played against Quinn Snyder in the NCAA tournament when he was at Missouri, too. He was so good. I was going to say, is that you and Duke? No, no, no. As Dylan Brooks hits the triple. It was deep with Duke and Carolina, man. That's my guy, though. Listen, there's definitely a wide player. Great finish, by, great finish by Rudy Gobert. My God, Uncle Sam Mitchell. Is, is there a better dress announcer than Sam Mitchell? Sam Mitchell's on the smooth. Oh, my God. Speaking of smooth. Makes no difference. Speaking of smooth, Donovan Mitchell. And he's talking to Dylan Brooks about it. Donovan Mitchell. He sees now. It's down. He'll take it into the path. Gets it. Do you believe this guy? Who is he? Who is the dude? Donovan Mitchell for three. Oh, right now in Utah. I think LeBron's going to have to do too much at the age of 36 years old. Take it away. Poor pass. Dylan Brooks he is hounded by Joe Engels. Protects it. And Royce O'Neal comes up with a points off a takeaway. Agnanovich on the lead for Gobert. Okay, Rudy. Okay, Rudy. Get a little behind, a little between the legs action. How good is it when Agnanovich does a little show and go and uses Rudy Gobert as a deep ball? Big man is, is in a dominant score on the block. You want him to have a game like Jaron Jackson Jr. where he can shoot the three. Oh, as Royce O'Neal throws down the dunk. Usually goes down for Kyle Anderson. He struggled last game from the outside. Struggling tonight as well. Donovan finds Rudy. Go pair on the finger roll. Quick Snyder didn't want to take any chances after what happened last year when they were a 3 1. Plus, you never know what can happen. Another breakdown. Nobody accounted for favors after he slipped that screen out top. Let me know the league is going to be in great hands moving forward when we get some of our elder statesmen like LeBron James to retire. Jordan Clarkson. Hello. Hello. They continue to celebrate. You happen to miss it, but it's a great quality look. The play calling by Quinn Snyder, the offensive design is flawless. John Moran stays with the play. But there is balance and in, in transition. Three ball. Hard off the heel. Donovan Mitchell. Right, that's what I said about floor balance defensively. Okay, I don't want you take it. It was a question, but he is a true young NBA superstar. Jordan Clarkson got what he wanted. And then it was Dylan Brooks out of position when he flew by from behind. Defensive effort really hasn't been there as far as multiple efforts. I've been, I saw it for a quick second in the second quarter from the second unit. But I just, it just hasn't been at a playoff level. If you want to win a playoff game, you got to run teams off the three-point line. What I'm going to do is give you a promotion and let you mess up the biscuits. I just don't understand how Brad Stevens gets let go and moves up into the front office. It'll be that chemistry once again because they've both been out a long time. Yeah, and then back where Dylan, Dylan Brooks breaks three for the dunk inside. They've got to make a decision. Jared Jackson Jr., great secondary defender there with the block. Melton on the wraparound to Dylan Brooks. But... Jared Jackson Jr. will clean it up. And that's a lucky number lately in NBA drafts. 13th overall, Jared Jackson Jr. fills it up again. Second to last pick of the lottery. O'Neal shares it. Clarkson's got it. And everything else is falling. He's got it going now. But Mitchell, you sat down for the night. But if he joined us a little bit late, he put on a show in the first quarter. He extended the lead dramatically for that. To the point where it had to be frustration for a real young team, the youngest team in the postseason. What are their strengths? And they know it in Utah. The young man with the basketball especially. Oh, come on, you're back at it. 21 points for Rudy Gobert. Gonna be Dylan Brooks. Got a triple. And look at the effort of Donovan Mitchell still going after a second chance. Off the look at the rim. Tyus Jones. I've always liked his game since Minneapolis. He's really done a great job for them off the bench as the lead guard in the second unit. Donovan working on Brooks and the floater. He's up to 30. He and Donovan, they got together, they talked. Now they're back to where they were before. He's Xavier Tillman, a guy that we like. And they picked up in the draft. The Utah Jazz. And they're on their way to the second round.